What's up everyone, Trainer Dell here with a deck profile on my Dark Magician Girls deck. And, you know, the Dark Magician stuff is in here, just a few Dark Magicians. Um, I would build the Dark Magician deck, but Dark Magical Circle, Ma Magicians Navigate are both secrets, harder to get. And Eternal Soul is not even out yet, so it's not so bad. Um, but I'm really, really having fun with this deck. Um, I really like it. I don't even know if I want to build the newer Dark Magician build um, because I like this deck so much. I'm pretty sure the other one will be better, especially when Eternal Soul comes out because Eternal Soul, especially showing a Dark Magician, and then the Dark Magic Circle, banishing a card. Oh, great combos. But for right now, I'm going to roll with this. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm running three Berry Magician Girls because she's like the straddle. She's normal summon her and she searches any Magician Girl. And when she's targeted for an attack or a card effect by your opponent, then you can change her battle position and special summon any spell cast or one magician girl monster from the deck. So really cool. Bring out Chaco, man. That's usually what you should bring out. You should add Kiwi special Chaco to Lemon. She's the one that tributes, and then you can add um, any spell caster really, yeah, from your deck to your hand. And when she's attacking, you can special summon any spellcaster from your deck to your hand. And then its effects are negated, but you change the attack target to that. And attack, like half the attack of the attacking monster. To Apple. Because um, even though her first effect is kind of hindered by, you can only special summon a level 5 or lower spellcaster type monster. And then redirect the attack with the whole halving the attack. Um... There's only one through five. Five, yeah, one through five. But her secondary effect is what makes her really good, and that's when she's destroyed by battle or by card effect. You can add up to three Magician Girls with different names. So you can just add back. Usually it's Berry, Chaco, and Kiwi. And Chaco. I keep saying Chaco, but yeah, it's Chocolate Magician Girl. But, you know, I just call it Chaco. Um, she's a real MVP of this deck where you can summon her. Discard any spellcaster type monster, and sometimes this deck does brick with high level spellcaster type monsters, but that's okay because you can just ditch them to draw a card so you replace it. And if she's a t declared an attack on, then um, you special summon a spellcaster type monster from your graveyard, except for herself, and boom, the, you redirect the attack with the whole changing the attack to half. And then we got three. Kiwi Magician Girl because she is so cool. Like she, you discard her anytime you want, and then all the Magician Girls with different names on the field and in your graveyard, uh, you gain 300 attack for all the uh, Magician Girls on the field. So that's cool. And on top of that, they can't be destroyed by card effects, and your opponent can't target them. So if they, you know, targeting is not really much of a thing right now. But if they try to target, you can send her. So that works out. Running three Dark Magician Girls because she is the um, star of the deck. Movie Pack, the Yugi Gold, and then Chica Maga Oscura. <laughs> so, yeah, three Dark Magician Girls. Just really love her. And of course, I gotta run the Dark Magicians. I bumped it from, or bumped it down from three to two. And I don't know, sometimes I wanna just go one because level sevens in my hand sometimes don't work out so well. But it's Dark Magician. I love the Dark Magician. One Palladium Oracle Mahad. And he's the reason why I kept Dark Magician at two. Because, I don't know, I just thought like... One could get banished or something like that. I could end up losing one. Um, so, or have one to my hand. And then, I, you know, he can deck. Then if he's destroyed, then he can get the other one from the deck or graveyard. So that's cool. And... He, his effect of like doubling his attack when he fights a dark monster, really tight. And he can just be summoned when you draw. If you draw him in the beginning, eh, it's whatever. Hopefully you have chocolate. Boom, Dark Magician of Chaos, Demok. Um, even though he's errated, he's still pretty good. Um, because Chocolate Magician Girl and him do work. And now that you have to wait to the end phase, still kind of hurts him. But if you get it off, it's still really good. So... Just one demock. Was thinking about a second demock and taking out the Dark Magician stuff, but I gotta run my Dark Magicians. Three Pot of Dualities, because you don't really special summon on your turn. You rarely special summon on your turn, let's just say that. So, you know, go through the deck. 
this is probably the only card you would use to special summon on your turn, or one of the only ones, with Dark Magic Veil. Pay a thousand light points, you have, what is that, six targets, two Dark Magician, one D-Mock, and then three Dark Magician girls you can use this with. I was using Magical Dimension, but I switched them out for the Monarch Stormforth because I started noticing I would draw like, let's say, Kiwi and Dark Magician Girl in my hand. And I had no way to normal summon something and I had Magical Dimension. So now I'm running the Monarch Stormforth because now I can just like, my opponent has a boss monster on the field. I can just Monarch Stormforth and tribute it. Um, if this goes through and I get my Dark Magician Girl, then I'll attack and then I'll gain a 600 attack through Kiwi. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Two Mysticals. You guys can switch it to Twin Twisters if you want. Or Night Beams, whatever you guys want to switch it to, but I'm running two Mysticals. Two Seal of Oricacos, and even though this does kind of like hurt your chances of your opponent attacking you, it's still a really good card. It, it's I don't run an extra deck in here, so that makes the deck a bit cheaper, a bit more um, budget. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't run an extra deck. So Seal of Oricacos, it can trade. You can make Dark Magician trade off with Blue Eyes, and that's cool. Terraforming to get um, Seal of Oricacos. An upstart to draw one Dark Hole. And then, see, you can use these to special summon on your turn, but mostly you want it on your opponents too. Call the Haunted because you're going to be doing a lot of combos and sending a lot of cards to the grave if you get the deck going. So, Triple Call the Haunted. Two Magician's Defense. I really like this because when your opponent, um, its first effect is cool, like halving the attack and all, but when your opponent, you know, sees back row and they get scared and then they want to destroy it, it's good because, you know, if it's destroyed, if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, then you can special summon any spellcaster type monster from your deck, or from your graveyard. So, good. And just the run, dark, one dark renewal. Because, um, I like it more than Magic Dimension because you can special summon from your deck or graveyard and you don't have to worry about anything in your hand. But you still need a monster on the field, like a spellcaster type monster. So, you know, it's better. I'm just using one, one Dark Renewal. So yeah, so that's the deck. And if I remember correctly, I can get them in their pose. I think Lemon is there. Chocolate is here. Kiwi. I think that's how they're set up. They're set up. Hmm, let me back this up. I think it's something like that. Uh, can I get all of them in the in the shot? Uh, can't really even see them, huh? Oh well. So yeah, that's it for my Dark Magician Girl deck. Thanks for watching. Peace.